Alright, hey guys. Yeah, if you guys seen my SRM 230 review, are you ready? This is the SRM 230. This is a PIS 266. I have no doubt you're on it right now. Uh, we're just going to go over verses, differences, price points. Uh, just really the basics of these two trimmers and what did I do to them. So, you can tell they are a little different. So, alright, let's get, these are different trimmers. They do make a PAS-266 and an SRM-230. Oh, sorry, they do make a uh, SRM-230 and a SRM-2, uh, well, PAS-230. And they do make a uh, SRM-266 and obviously a PAS-266. So, this is more about motors than, um... Then trimmer, could you get a trimmer attachment on the PAS-266? I just don't see a lot of reviews on uh, for the PAS-266. And uh, just not a lot of uh, verse reviews versus each other. So, you know, we're going to try hitting that today. So, price point wise, the SRM-230 is $290. Now, for another $20 more, you can step up to the 266 and uh, here's the specs of the 230 and I really want focus I'll tell you the specs uh, it's 22.8 cc's which is hours 300 and mine was built in July of 2013 so let's see what another $20 gets you with the uh, PAS 266 and the missions is actually over here and you really can't see it too well but it's 25.4 cc's and version hours 300. So you're getting quite a bit more cc's. I think 2.6. Two I'm not quite sure exactly. So the PAS, this costs 300 just without any attachments on it. So it's only another $20 more. And if you bought the PAS 230, it would cost 280 I believe, just with just like this. So clearly the differences are of these two trimmers, the handles. I mean, I personally I like the SRM 230's handle better. I think it's much more comfortable than this handle. This seems like it's probably going to be built better than that because this is more like a foam handle. And this is more like a hard rubber. Uh, as you can clearly tell. I uh, it, it doesn't look too bad. Electrical tape, both the triggers. This one looks better. Um, I've used this one quite a bit more. I use this maybe three, four times a week with everyone's yards I do. I'm not a real professional. I just have yards. Um, we're going to try bitting some myths today that the SRM230 doesn't have enough power. It's it's more than that. I'm gonna say in you know, the really really thick stuff. Um, maybe you're gonna start bogging down. But to be honest with you, the PAS two six six is on a whole different level. Uh, for another twenty dollars more, it's it's really the better option, and it's farther than just the um, motors. Um, the PAS two six six has a smaller fuel tank because it's more efficient. And it has an I-30 starter. As you can tell, this one doesn't. I'll show you. Just the starters are different. This one's quite a bit... I, mean, I don't know if I could do it one-handed. I mean, it's, it's hard. This one, with a bigger motor in mind. And this motor's not even broken in yet. This one is. So the compression's still crazy. And, uh... Filters are actually different. There we go. That's your standard echo filter. Sorry, I won't try to make this too long for you guys. If I can get it. Clearly, 
I mean, double. F this has foam. It's thicker. It's bigger. Literally, you could tell the PAS is actually it should be over here. Is bigger plus covers. That was fun, guys. You can't beat that. I mean, I feel like they put more time and effort in this. Just the uh, intake is quite a bit more, uh, more detail in it than this one does. They both use Zama carbs, both the same spark plug, both, I believe, the same muffler. Yeah, they look to be the, the same. Uh... Without further ado, let's start them. I'm inside the garage, so I'm just gonna probably let them run. This runs quite a bit harder than that does. It's at idle. So, on, switch here is pretty simple joke. You don't really have to try, but I'm just doing it. Um, I'm gonna put you guys down for a minute. And then the uh, PAS266, which doesn't seem to hold gas as long, and it's fuel bulb. And I think they do have different chokes. And same thing. Put you guys down. Come on, this is... There you guys go. They sound a little different, there's no doubt. Both of the spark raster screens are out. Um, this is also quite a bit heavier, motor-wise. I think it's a pound heavier if they were the same model, either or PIS or SRM. So, you know, finishing up this conclusion, don't even buy this. Why am I saying that? It's another $20, guys. This is a 266. Don't even buy an SRM. Go buy yourself a PAS because there's so many more things. This is why I bought this in the first place, guys. Because I bought that at Home Depot. I bought this at the equipment dealer because they don't sell a 266 at the equipment dealer. That's why I got the 230. Because that's the highest model they have. And um, I kind of regret it. I don't regret that. It's not a bad trimmer. But there's just so much more things you can do and you're going to want to do. I'm going to buy edge trimmer for this. Today, I hope, and you know, it gives you the strap, and this is just so much more versatile and just so much better. So, without further ado, you know, I really thank you guys. There's the BB250, 500s in the shed, um, the GT200 R's in the shed, Echo all the way, guys. As far as the 280 for another $60 more, I don't know, but spend that out of 20 if you're going to spend almost $300 on a way back here, go right by the 266. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Thank you. Goodbye.